Hi and welcome back to the Bean Patch. Um, I have got Mrs. Bean and Tween Bean here with me and we're just going to kind of go through the events of um, the last 24 hours <clears throat> just talk about a little bit you know just a candid conversation about what happened so um, we're going to overlay this with the video from the drone footage and you're just seeing basically uh, some trees down now and uh, if something comes up I want to explain we'll, I'll cut in and kind of show you what you're looking at this is next to our house um, the storm came within a hundred feet roughly of our our house uh, the tornado did and um, we were registering winds of a, in excess of a hundred miles an hour but for our our computer thing uh, was hit by a tree and destroyed so <clears throat> I guess I'll start I think that I think that one of the things that we always talked about was um, preparedness you know we need a go bag we should always have a go bag right there by the door you know we should always have flashlights we should always have a rifle by the door and what did we do absolutely nothing <laughs> i mean we when, ran out when, we didn't take a flashlight you brought your cell phone i didn't bring my cell phone i had my phone this i was in uh, I can't remember if I was wearing jeans and mucks or if I was literally just wearing mucks and shorts. I don't know. Um, but when we decided that something was going on, well, there had already been a warning um, for a severe weather warning. And so um, we had heard it. We, you know, like everything else, like everyone else, you know, you hear them all the time. We don't have cable, and so it just whatever comes over our phones, and um, <clears throat> so we um, um, we ignored it. You know, basically, well, severe warning. It's another one of those, you know. And um, I heard, well, we saw a flicker, didn't we? There was like the TV shut off, and you came in the living room and said, yeah, "Dad, my did, lights flickered." Yeah, did the power just go off? And I'm like, "Yeah, that was kind of weird." I didn't know if my light bulb was going out or if the lights flickered because they just kind of went flick, flick. Yeah, and, and it they... was just a matter of seconds, uh, literally after that, that um, the wind picked up enough that I was like, "Wow, this is really." And we live in the woods, and so it's like, you know, we were hearing stuff hit the roof. And then you went to the back door, and that's when you saw all the... Yeah, it just looked like a wave of debris going across uh, the screen. It's just like the movie Twister. And I'm, I remember saying, we got to go. <laughs> you know, and... I was already in I was already in bed. Yeah. Ready, turned in for the night, and he's like, we've got to go. So then I had to jump up and... And did you have mucks? We all had mucks on. Did we? Muck boots? Mom had... Muck um, winter boots on, and I just had a pair of rubber boots. So what you're seeing here is the debris from the hangar uh, that was destroyed and uh, just flying over the the hangar. So, well, and we what we ran in the wood. We ran. We originally we were going to go to the car, and and the wind was blowing so hard and debris was flying by the front door so hard that I decided we weren't going to take the car. We were just going to head for low level. Because I felt at that time there was a there was something going on more than just wind. And I was carrying the dog and trying to walk in the pitch black. <laughs> yeah. We, and it, all we and had for a light was my phone screen. We didn't even use that until after we got down to the bottom of the... the so we're, we're running. Uh, she's carrying the dog. Tween Bean's between me and Mrs. Bean. And we're like running in the dark, tripping over logs and tripping through... Um, thorn. thorn bushes and barbed wire and and you know drainage pipes and we get down in the ditch and literally um, uh, I look back and Mrs. Bean's not there and she had fallen just like you know they the, they do in the movies the beautiful lady falls and <laughs> you know all right you're laying it on a little thick you know she's running for her life and but she let's, falls let's tell us what you did though. He picked me up well, and threw me down the hill. Yeah, I, at that point, the wind was howling so hard, uh, and it was moving at such a rate that I thought that the tornado was literally going to take the house. And we were only uh, about a hundred feet away from the house, and less than fifty feet away from my brother's house. 
and I thought if this thing's come apart, we're right in the, you know, we're downwind. And mm -hmm. so I, I ran back, I grabbed her by her arm and picked her up and said, we gotta go, you gotta go. And, and pushed her down the hill. But then when she, when I pushed her, she turned and went into a barbed wire fence. And she's like, I, but she was disoriented. I think, I think you were disoriented at this point because like, what did you hear? This is us flying. This is the drone flying over the airplane. That's how far it is away from the hangar. And you can see the hangars, there's nothing left. Um, and we'll go back and look at the plane here in a moment. I don't, I didn't hear anything. I had yeah. the dog. I was running. I tripped. I fell. You came back, yanked me up, held me as we started running. Yeah. We ran almost into the barbed wire fence. You told me that was a barbed wire fence. You yanked me back. You pushed me in the right direction. I dropped the dog. I dropped my phone. And I somehow ended up in the ditch. In the ditch. And then... At the bottom of a ravine. As we were running, there's like two drop-offs. The first one's not that far, and we tripped off the drop-off. And then Papa Bean's like, there's another drop-off, and that's when I slid and I twisted my ankle. Yeah, and we're then trying we to get in the bottom of a ravine. Fell in a puddle. In a, we're trying to get into a creek bed. And so... Uh, and here's here's the plane, and uh, she's in pretty rough shape. Uh, lots of internal damage. Uh, the wings, top sides of the wings were damaged severely, and there's some broken stuff. It it doesn't, from this video it may not look totaled, uh, but I, I think it could easily, we could easily get into a lot of money, but I don't know. So... Um, I, what I was hearing, I was hearing literally the, the, the quintessential howling of the wind, the debris just flying through the trees, um, you know, on a windy day when you hear leaves rustling. Well, we don't have leaves at this time. This was debris going through the trees and it was like, it was like leaves being, being blown through trees. And, and it, it, it was not a train, but it was a howl. It was a, it was a strong, strong strong wind and um the other thing i remember too is that i dropped when i fell the first time the dog got out of my arms and i'm like we lost the dog we lost the dog and by the time we got down to the creek bed he was in the creek bed looking up at us like what took you so long to get here people <laughs> yeah this is some of the other damage uh from the farm that we're going to be dealing with um working on so um i think that one of the things that we had uh, um, ha have had we prepared better, we would have definitely, you know, um, taken coats and and grabbed our go bag. But literally, uh, the second that I heard the the howling, I got up and I went to the door, and it just was so strong that I said, "We've got to go." And when we got to the creek, bottom of the creek, it wasn't about a minute and a half later that the wind completely completely stopped. Uh, well, it didn't completely stop. The the howling stopped. The the uh, uh, rain started with some hail. And you're complaining about your ankle, and you're complaining about your back because you'd hurt your back when you fell. And then and then we decided. You know, or you said, I, I'm scared, I don't want to die. And and then you asked me to start praying, you know. And I got to be honest, it wasn't, I don't think that necessarily we were praying for protection as much as we were. I think at that moment, we were praying. Sorry. Um we were praying as if we were going to die and for the father to forgive us and accept us and uh, that was the prayer that we were praying you know and that was tough um and as quick as it was started it was over and it just started raining and <clears throat> and so we um we uh, walk back up to the house, <clears throat> and the ladies, I said, get changed, get into dry clothes, and we're we're heading out again. And this time we were more prepared. We grabbed our coats, we grabbed you know uh, flashlights, we grabbed boots, and 
and what we needed and we hit for the car and then we went over to the farmhouse where there's a cellar and by that time it had died down and so um any last thoughts as to and that's when you flipped on your headlights and you noticed that the hanger was gone and everything was gone yeah the hanger was completely gone and uh we couldn't find the airplane uh, we drove around in the field and literally could not find that plane anywhere and the plane was lifted up out of the hangar um, or was tumbled out, traveled about 300 feet. It looks like, to me, it came down on its wheels and then bounced so hard that it went back into the air and then went upside down. So, but, um, well, uh, stick around for the next video and we're going to show you some more stuff. But I wanted you guys to uh, get to have this opportunity to uh, kind of listen firsthand as to what we went through and um, and there's more to come so we ask that you guys be patient with us and um, um, we ask that you be patient with us while we go through this we're going to try to share as much as we can with you and uh, please keep subscribing and giving us thumbs up we could really use them right now um, we are thinking of um, how we can keep you guys engaged with our videos uh, the plane will, we're going to really try to get it rebuilt. Uh, we're going to try to take it to uh, Jim Robinson in Erie, Illinois and completely rebuild it. Um, and maybe you guys can come along for that. And I'm just thankful really that, that I have my family. Um, the uh, storm completely uh, missed our house, even though it went within feet of our house and the house is perfect there's not even a cracked drywall anywhere um we have all of our livestock all of our animals all of our animals all you know the dogs the goats the chickens the cows no loss of life and um yeah we don't have insurance on the hangar and no we didn't have insurance on the plane but um you know we believe things happen for a reason and and we're just thankful that we have each other so okay that's it uh, join us on the next um, episode of the Bean Patch, and uh, we we thank you guys for for coming by.